Welcome guys to Need for Speed Payback and we're about to open up some shipments. Oh yes, you guys asked to see them. I suggested it in the last video and you guys are like, yes, please open some shipments. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's try and work out roughly how much these actually cost. So to buy 250 points, it's £1.79. So that's roughly um, about $240, something like that. $2.4. Uh, so you can buy base packs for 100 which is actually quite cheap. That's not too bad. So that's... You can get two packs. So it's roughly, I'd say about 80p, 70p for a pack, a base pack. To get a premium pack, you need 150 speed points. And that is, I'd say, about £1.30, £1.20. So it's quite expensive, just for a pack. Uh, but let's see what they're like. I'm going to buy 10 premium packs. Because I'm a madman, apparently. Yep, I've just I've just done that. I don't wanna, I don't buy too many because it may ruin my experience. But also, I just found out the deluxe edition of the game, which I have coming out tomorrow, has five cars. So I need to do a lot of work to those cars. So that, that's my reasoning, I guess. Go back to overview and let's start opening the premium shipments. So you get a I can't remember what you get now. So you get two wild cards, a bank token, a part token, and a vanity item, all in one pack. So remember, this is about £1.30. Ooh, some blue NOS. Very nice. You can sell if you want to, or you can keep it. I'm going to keep it. Ooh, look at that. Ten part tokens. That is crazy. There we go. So that was a premium pack. The first one we've got. Uh, let's, go for, let's go for another one. What do we get? So I've got 5,000 in the bank. A violet underglow. So that's an underglow lighting. 15,000, Jesus, that's a lot of money. Uh, four part tokens and purple smoke for your tires. Not a bad pack. I like the purple sort of vibe. Very nice. Right, so I'm gonna keep all of these. Again, you can, you can send them if you want to. I'm gonna keep them, 100%. Let's open up another one. <laughs> this is quite fun and quite addictive. Ooh, purple NOS. Yes, yeah, so I got 5,000 in the bank. Purple NOS, 10,000 in the bank, part tokens only free, and some more money in the bank. Wows. Our money is going to go skyrocketing. Uh, at least we can spend that money on customization. We can buy a new car soon as well, so that's that's cool. But that's, that's exciting. I might not open more than 10, actually. I don't want to ruin it too much for myself. I don't want to ruin the game. But again, the game gives us five free cars when we start the game, so... I don't know. Oh, when the Saints... Go marching in. When the saints go marching in. Oh, six part tokens. Ah! That is crazy. So blue smoke. We've got a horn. 10,000 and some part tokens. Very nice. Not bad at all. So we have six new ones left. Yeah, I'm not going to open more than, more than 10. Nah. What? 25,000? Damn, son. Another underglow, very nice. Turquoise, uh, six part tokens and three part tokens. That is nine in total. Not a bad little pack. I wouldn't say like at the moment, I'm like, oh my God, these are amazing. You must buy premium shipments. They are incredible. I wouldn't say that, but they're not, they're, they're, they're quite fun. Uh, 5,000 in the bank, six part tokens, red NOS. Ooh, that, that would be quite nice actually, especially for the S2000. Five part tokens and five, what the hell? There's so many part tokens. So that's six, 11, 16 part tokens in one pack. Damn, that is nice. Like jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin flew away. I mean, it's coming towards Christmas, so why not? 20,000 in the bank, four part tokens, another four, which is eight in total. Again, so it's a vanity item, a part token, a bank token, and two wild cards. That can be anything. It could be anything at all. Oh, look at the money, man. What the hell? So that is $30,000. $30,000. Damn. And they've got a horn as a train. A horn, a horn train. Very nice. How many have got left? Oh, I need two more. Damn. <laughs> I want more. We may buy more in the future, but for now, I don't want to like, buy too many. It's just, it's just, just going to get a little bit silly. 
She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. That's just such a random horn. Uh, 25,000, 10,000, five part tokens, and an ice cream horn. Wonderful. Getting all these vanity items. This is the last one. 5,000, 10,000, another horn, and nine part tokens in total. Fairly nice. Not bad at all. Let's try it. One base one, just to, because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit addicted right now. <laughs> what do we get? Overview, open up my base shipment. What do we get? 10,000, a handheld horn free, okay, and a five part tokens. I think that the base ones are pretty good actually. I think the base ones are probably slightly better in terms of value. Do you get everything you sort of need in one pack? So that, that's fine. Yeah, so now we have 93 parts. And what? Well, see my money. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, sweet lord. That's enough to buy a car. 100%. Um, so we had roughly, was it 220,000 before that? So yeah, that's a, a decent increase in money. Um, what are we getting now, though? Because I feel like I just want to do this right now. Uh, there's been a slight update to the game. So now I have these little ticks, if you've done them, which is quite a nice little touch. That's the collectibles. Let's go to the tune-up shop. And let's see if we can improve our S2000 again. Let's see what we can do. I want to get a speed boost, and I want to hit 195 miles an hour. All right, I just want to do it. I want to do it. Uh, this is not officially a part of the walkthrough, by the way. That will happen tomorrow when the full game comes out. Let's be honest, guys. That is quite a good gearbox. That is a very good gearbox indeed. NOS goes up dramatically. Let's get that. Let's get let's get a NOS. A NOS gearbox. He's now equipped. So that's a level 8, isn't it? So I think we need a new head. Yeah, we need a new head. 100%. So our top speed currently is 189, 189 miles an hour. Uh, let's get... What was I going to get? A head. Let's get a head. Let's roll for a head. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Please be good. Please. Carbon, nope. Oh, don't do jump, man. I don't want jump. I was also got speed, though, so that's good. So, oh, look at that. Top speed, plus five. Damn. Nos does go down a little bit, though. I'll do it. I'll equip it. Done. Right, that's it for now. Let's try and see if this car can hit 195 miles an hour. We tried this in the last episode, and it failed. I just want to do it right now. I want to do it 100%. Oh, lower the downforce a little bit. There we go. It actually hits it. That's surely got to do it now. Surely. Surely, surely, surely. Come on, Lewis 2000. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's do this. Let's smash the 195 miles an hour mark. I'm sure we can do it. So this car is now impressive. It's got some good stats. Hands down. It's got some good stats. Right, let's do this, guys. 195 miles an hour. Let's smash it. Please. Let's keep it on the road. Keep it as straight as possible. Let that speed climb up. Come on. Come on. 160. 165. 170. 180. When should I do it, guys? Keep going. Hey, guys. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're always hungry. Let's do it. There we go. 202 miles an hour. Surely that's it. I've got to get the exhaust. Come on. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, damn. That was nice. Yes. It does sound pretty nice in this tunnel, actually. So pleased. Right, let's go back to our garage and install this uh, this new part. Ah, also I want to explain something. In my last like random video I did, the part nine, I was talking about the tires and people got a little bit confused. So I went to tires and I thought selecting that brand would change the whole tire. Instead it adds like a watermark over the top. So that's what you see at the moment, Need for Speed, Ghosts. And then obviously I had the tire I wanted to equip. You can still see Need for Speed, Ghost Games on the tire. That's where the last game it took away all that branding and it's added obviously the, the right brand in. But yeah, it's got like a slight weird watermark on it. 
just it's just a small thing it doesn't bother me too much but it's like a it's like a, a sort of weird workaround i guess but yeah you don't really see it if you if you go if you sort of zoom out you can't really see it now so it doesn't really matter too much anyway just want to explain that a little bit uh let's get a new exhaust oh yeah couple are slightly uh, restricted but not too bad look at that that is obscene that is obscene oh look at that <laughs> i mean that's more of like a i guess like a drag or perhaps even off-road actually they look quite good oh that does look quite shocking but i'm sort of tempted <laughs> i'm sort of tempted change the view oh what is this do i want to go for that one yeah there we go a brand new part just for me oh this is mental what a game so come back tomorrow guys where we get the full game in our hands ready to go i can't wait uh, that should include five brand new vehicles including the 350 but each of those vehicles has a um, a prius sign like one is a race car one is a drift car um so yeah that'd be interesting to see what they like i think there's like a golf in there a camaro i, I believe a 350 there's some really awesome cars. Oh, also Raptor. So yeah, very exciting. See you guys for the next episode which will be part number 10. This is just like a random unboxing, unpacking video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Bye-bye. Almost forgot to show you guys. This is the underglow. Look how good this looks. It looks so nice. I'm such a little racer, aren't I? I can't help it. Look at it. I remember watching those old Fast and the Furious films and I was like, this, that, that is what I want in life. A car with an underglow. <laughs> look at it oh that is gorgeous i'm gonna say bye again sorry i just want to show you guys the uh the underglow but there it is in all its glory looks smashing gorgeous bye bye